Okay, here is a video of my Android 4.4. The brand is called Pumpkin Stereo. Now, there's a lot of videos online with these, so I'm not going to cover everything. Just a little bit. You can see the boot up here. It actually has the Pontiac Arrow. This is a Pontiac Trans Am. I really didn't expect that. I really thought I'd have to use a GM emblem or something like that. 6.95 inch touch screen capacitive touch display. On the front you have two SD cards, one for the maps and one for adding music or photos or whatever. And then there's two rear USB ports. It actually has built-in Wi-Fi. So if you have a phone that you can actually tether your Wi-Fi to it, then you'll have internet on the radio. So you can do Pandora or iHeartRadio or whatever. You can see on the front here, it has the uh, smoke effect. You can change the backgrounds like any phone or tablet. It has your quick five keys. You can change these. You can move them around, delete it, whatever you want to do. And it works just like a regular phone or tablet. You have internet browser, Google Maps. You can, And again, like I said, any app you can download for your phone or tablet, you can pretty much put it on here. I mean, I even have Angry Birds on here. It plays just like it does on your phone. I don't really recommend playing that while you're driving, of course. Uh, navigation works really well. It's a iGo navigation and all the maps are built in because, you know, the one downside of just using your phone for nav is if you don't have an internet connection, you're kind of screwed. So it's nice to have the maps built in. It has US and Canada built into this thing. One of the apps that's actually really handy, really cool is Torque. If you're not familiar with Torque, it connects to the OBD2 of your car computer. So there's a Bluetooth OBD2 connector you plug in. Let me load the Torque app here. Everything on your road loads really fast. It has a really good processor in it. It's a double core, but it works nice. Okay, it's actually loaded. I don't have my car on, so that's why it backed out like that. Usually when you go in the second time, it'll stay on. So right now it's not reading any revs because the car is off. You can do your check engine lights, see what your codes are. You can clear them. You can actually do map view. You can do, I believe, quarter mile. I've never done any of that stuff. Graph information. And what's kind of cool is you can do real-time information. You can actually customize the gauges, and then these would all be lit up and going, you know, throttle percent, coolant, temperature, revs. You know, have a big rev counter there. You can actually do quarter miles and I believe G's too because there's like a G meter in here. Zero to 60 time. So really, really cool. Back out of there. And then again, if it was running, you know, I can hit click fault codes and actually click on my fault. Tell me what my faults are. And you can graph and whatever you want on this thing. Very cool. These things are not too expensive. I got mine off Amazon. It was it was under 400 with shipping, so not too bad. Again, it is a China radio. Their technology is definitely coming a long way. I've had many China radios over the years, and most of them were pretty crappy, but this thing is just awesome. I, I can't believe everything this thing can do. The only thing I don't like is the stock music player, I think, kind of sucks. As you can see, stereo controls do work, too. I can, you know, do volume up, down or whatever with steering wheel controls. The only thing I like about the stock player is the sorting of the music. It's all by the album name, and I'm not used to looking at album names for music. I'm used to always seeing basically the uh, artist name is how I always sort music. So not a problem, though, because since it is an Android player, I basically use Shuttle Player. Shuttle Player is a free app. It has all your artwork on there, and, you know, it works out pretty nice. So, once again, very cool radio. And the only downside I had was just a stock music player, but that's not even a problem. So, thanks for watching.